Hi, ninth and 10th grade. This is a grammar lesson on capitalization. You can find this Google Doc in Schoology by going to Bellringers, Grammar Handouts and Notes, and then to Lesson 1, Capitalization. After we review this together, you'll take the GoFormative quiz on capitalization. But you need to make sure you join our class. You can join our class on GoFormative.com for 10th uh, for 10th grade by looking at the bell ringer that's going to be displayed at the board on the front of the room which will say that your your what your class code is supposed to be you'll type that in and then you'll take the capitalization quiz you'll also need to create a go formative account if you haven't yet done so back to the grammar lesson first there are several rules for capitalization You'll notice I have them bolded right here. Some of them will have tips, which are italicized, and all of them will include examples and counterexamples. There are only two pages, so we should be able to get through this pretty quickly. First, you need to always remember to capitalize geographical names. Some examples include cities and towns like Atlanta, Tokyo, Moscow, states and counties, countries and continents, streets and highways, landforms, specific places or monuments, bodies of water, forests and parks, sections of a country or continent, as well as adjectives referring to sections of a country or continent, like a western college or southern cooking. But do not capitalize words which merely indicate direction. For example, Leslie drove south from Maryland until she reached the south. We do not capitalize south here because this is the direction, but we do capitalize south here because it's a section of the U.S. You can also remember this by noting that if there is ever a V, an A, or an AN in front of the direction, that is the point where you're going to capitalize it. Here's another example. We are either going to move to southeastern Georgia or northern Florida. These two do not need to be capitalized. You'll notice that there is no V, A, or AN in front of Southeastern or Northern. However, it will be in the South for sure. This is a section of the US, and that does need to be capitalized. Obviously, also always capitalize the days of the week, months, holidays, and holy days. For example, Tuesday, April, Thanksgiving, Ramadan, Hanukkah, and March. But do not capitalize seasons of the year, like summer, fall, or spring. Third, always remember to capitalize titles. Capitalize a person's title when the title precedes the name. For example, President Lincoln, Dr. Don Heckroth, or Senator Durbin. But do not capitalize titles which are preceded by an article. Like Mary Ligons, a doctor from Utah, spoke at the conference, or Tim Douglas, the president of the consulting firm, assessed the company's performance. Capitalize words showing family relationships when they are substituted for proper nouns as they often are in direct addresses. For example, did you bring my water, mom? This is capitalized here because the person is addressing their mom directly. I knew dad was a great athlete when he was in college. Dad is capitalized here. But do not capitalize words showing the family relationship if they are preceded by a possessive noun or pronoun. For example, one might argue that Holden's sister plays the most important role in the novel. We do not capitalize sister because it is preceded by a possessive noun or pronoun. My mother lost her purse on the train last night. Lyle's uncle is a complete weirdo. Because these are preceded by possessive nouns or pronouns, we don't need to capitalize them. Rule number four. Capitalize words showing family relationships when they are part of a person's title. For example, I have always wondered why Aunt Sally was so crazy, or we went to Disneyland with Uncle Barry last year. Capitalize the first and last words of all important words and titles of books, magazines, newspapers, short stories, poems, movies, television shows, historical and government documents, historical events, works of art, time periods, and musical compositions as well. These examples include the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the Football Digest, Gettysburg Address, Bill of Rights, Catcher in the Rye, Declaration of Independence. 
but do not capitalize articles, conjunctions, prepositions, or linking verbs unless they are the first or last part of the titles. Do not capitalize articles such as the, of, and a unless they are part of the actual title. For example, the Revolutionary War, Revolutionary and War are capitalized. The Age of Enlightenment, where Age and Enlightenment are capitalized. The Liberty Bell, where Liberty and Bell are capitalized. However, when we look at the title of the book, The Great Gatsby, we see that all three words are capitalized. This is because it is part of the title of the text. Six, capitalize races, nationalities, languages, and religions. These examples include Asian American, European, Baptist, Buddhist, Russian, Caucasian, Jewish, or Latino. Rule number seven, capitalize nouns and pronouns which refer to the supreme being, like God, Jehovah, Allah, she, or his. Examples include, Seth has always believed that God will protect his people. In this context, his is referring to God. The people are God's, therefore his is capitalized. Toby believes that Allah will provide. In this context, Toby is referring to a supreme being named Allah. That is why Allah is capitalized. Rule number eight, capitalize the titles of specific academic courses and capitalize all academic courses that are languages. Examples include advanced placement chemistry, English, French, sociology 101, accelerated European history, but do not capitalize fields of study. For example, I am struggling in my math and science classes, or Molly will take two history classes next year. In these situations, we do not need to capitalize history or math and science. Finally, rule number nine, capitalize student class distinction only if part of a specific title, event, or organization. Examples include, many sophomores are planning on attending the senior prom this year. Sophomores are not capitalized, but senior prom is because it is, it is a specific title of a specific event. Let's look at the next one. After her excellent junior year, Tina was invited to join the Senior Honor Society. Junior is not capitalized here, but Senior Honor Society is because it is part of a specific title or event or organization. These are all of the rules for capitalization. Please review them at your leisure or rewatch the video if you feel like you didn't get them all. After you watch this video, you'll need to log on to GoFormative.com which you can do once again by clicking Go Formative Quiz on Capitalization in the Bell Ringers folder on Schoology.com. Grammar Handouts, Go Formative Quiz. After you take the quiz, please sit quietly and wait for me to begin class. Thank you.